Astonishing news for physics, Einstein was wrong and scientists call for a new theory of relativity after the black hole find. A black hole discovery led scientists to call for a new theory to explain what happens at the center of the black hole cosmic anomalies. One scientist pointing to the possibility that Einstein's theory of general relativity, relativity is not correct. The general theory of relativity published by the genius Einstein more than 100 years ago to refine Isaac Newton's law of universal gravitation, providing a unified description of gravity as a geometric property of space and time or space time. The model is still currently used as scientists by scientists as explanation of gravitation in modern physics. Einstein's theory has important astrophysical cosmological implications. It alludes to the existence of black holes. These cosmic phenomena in which space and time are distorted in a way that nothing, not even light, can escape them. At the center of a black hole, as described by general relativity theory, may lie a gravitational singularity, a region where the space-time curvature becomes infinite. But while mathematicians say a singularity is possible, nature apparently pro proves this, these do not exist. Discovery Channel, How the Universe Work Exposes, explains, when a giant dying star collapses, the mass of the star falls in and keeps falling and crushing down into an infinitely small point. But physicist Max Tegmark believes that the singularity is just a fancy word of saying we have no idea what's happening in there. Astronomer Phil Plate explains why some experts have an issue using this theory. He said, the way our physics describes black holes when they form is you're taking a finite amount of mass and you're collapsing it down. Its volume should shrink all the way down to zero but that means it has infinite density and infinite gravity. That does not make any sense, he said. Theoretical physics Lawrence Krauss then explained that some uh, are questioning Einstein's theory. He said, if you make a prediction and the answer is infinite, then it tells you that there is something wrong with your prediction. We have never seen infinity in the universe. Maybe the black hole with an event horizon described by General relativity theory just is not the proper description of the physics. Quantum mechanics is a fundamental theory in physics, providing descriptions of physical properties of nature at scales of atoms and subatomic particles. Now, the leading astronomer, assistant director for science communication at NASA, Goddard, Michael Thaler, explains. She said, Michelle Thaler, so she says, have you ever thought about the term quantum mechanics and what those terms actually mean? She says everything in the universe is broken up into tiny units and there is a basic unit of energy, time and space that cannot be divided any smaller. There is a limit to how small those things can be. The smallest unit in the universe is what is known as a Planck length to physicists. But if there is a universal limit on the smallest size, then something infinitely small cannot exist, according to some scientists. Quantum mechanics expert Sean Carroll says, if infinity does not exist, then singularities do not exist. And if singularities don't exist, then Einstein's theory of general relativity is not correct. The simplest thing we can do is change some uh, equations, change his theory of gravity, and let's invent what we would call exotic speculative physics. It's led scientists to invent the theory of the Planck star passing in space would look like a black hole, but without a point of singularity at the core. The star is just like a black hole, but it obeys the rules of quantum mechanics. Physicist Max Tegmark detailed the new theory that has, not, that has um, been proposed. He said maybe things can be collapsed down to less than the Planck length, or maybe you get stuck with a Planck-sized nugget. It stabilizes everything, keeps everything, uh, keeps everything finite. He says the reason why there are so many alternatives to black holes is because you can write down a gazillion different postulated mysterious new kinds of matter and say, this exists, so maybe that explains the data. 
The problem is there is no evidence that any of that kind of stuff exists. So back to the drawing board, you guys. This by Callum Hoare on Express UK. Please leave your comments. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.